So I'm Frank Thomas. I'm uh, a just spoken word. I'm also an actor, a Uber driver, a beekeeper. When I think about independence, I, I do go to that traditional standing on your own feet and paying your own bills and doing that sort of thing. The more I think about it, the more I realise it doesn't happen all at once. It's not something that just happens. You learn those skills. If Wales was to become independent, I think that Wales would have a much better understanding of what its people's needs were, but then maybe to be able to react to a more global problem, um, it might take longer. It might not have the resources to put in that infrastructure that is needed. So it is those pros and cons. Like, I think, you know, a smaller ship will turn quicker in the waters, but, you know, it, it can't carry as many people. I'm living in Cardiff. Uh, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, running about in the fields, and I love nature. For me, if there's a, a bit of space on my roof that's not doing anything that someone else can use better or something else can use better, I'll let them do that. It's quite well known that the state of bees isn't the best in the world. They contribute to all of our food and our pollination. They do need a little bit of a, a hand up right now, and I'm willing to offer that. You see the democracy within the hive, you see what they're doing, how they're working together, and you understand that, you know, what I'm doing in my little patch of garden will have an influence with up to five miles radius. One of my biggest hopes for Wales, yep, we're doing some great things. We've got, like, I think it's the One Planet Development Scheme, which is, like, amazing and, like, groundbreaking, and Wales should shout about what it's doing to encourage, like, low-carbon living and all those different things that Wales is putting in place. But I think we do need to pay a little bit more attention to our art and our culture and protecting those going forward. You know, Wales has always been told we're too poor. The poorest parts of Wales are the poorest parts of the UK. And I think if Wales was to go independent, we really need to pay attention to how we can support those areas. And I think what has been made clear and made evident is that Westminster does not consider those areas. And I would feel a tremendous amount of anxiety and worry for the poorest in England. So much of our focus around the Welsh independence argument is what we can do for ourselves. We should be more ambitious than that and look at what we can do for others. I do think when I drive through Wales and when I walk through Wales, there is a deeper connection. And you do feel connected to the land, that it is part of you and, and that you're part of it. That's gonna be here much longer than I am. And I think you realize that when you're passing through it. You realise that this has been here a lot longer than we've been here and it'll be here for a lot longer and, and that we are part of that and part of something. It's a little bit magic in it. It's a little bit of magic.
My name's Patrick Langdon Duck. I'm 20 years old. I'm a professional surfer from Swansea, South Wales. My main ambition is to reach the world tour, which is like the 34 elite surfers in the world. There's only ever been one other Welsh surfer, Carwin Williams, to make the tour. I'm pretty passionate to be Welsh. It means a lot to me. It's like where I grow up, where I spend every day, where I train. Representing Wales to me is like the biggest thing I can do. Welsh independence to me is, it's quite complicated because I, I have different views on it. I think in terms of the economy, I think possibly Wales could struggle to be fully independent. But then I also think I'd like to see Welsh independent because Hopefully the country could thrive from our natural resources. All the natural, beautiful places we have, it would be nice to see you know, local people benefit from tourism and to earn from that without wrecking it. Personally, I don't think Westminster really consider the best for Wales when they put certain plans into place. I think it's more orientated around what's best for London and possibly England. I don't think Wales really comes into the conversation very often. I just think independence is you controlling your outcome, whether that be, I'm not gonna ride this wave, I'm gonna ride that wave, or it's, you know, it could be, mean a lot more powerful things. But to me, being independent is just deciding your own outcome and no one else deciding it for you. I'd like to see an independent Wales when the plan is put in place to benefit the future. I feel Britain's been run in the past generations that older generations have become very wealthy and the younger people now are going to be the ones paying for it. I'd like to see a plan in place that my generation and generations after me are going to benefit. Not necessarily make more money and be greedy, but a plan that has longevity for Wales. In the past, 
been things that have been done that benefit that generation and nothing to benefit future generations. My name is Ruel Elijah. I'm an artist, creator from Cardiff, Wales. Independence to me means to be able to rely on your own guidance, to be able to rely on the words of others, but molded into what you think independence is, you know? And this should be a core of somebody, but not the whole of somebody, you know? When it comes to being independent, there, there needs to be also a balance and that's where you meet in the middle, the middle of um, ego and true self, you know what I mean? You shouldn't be too strong to be like, oh, you can stand alone at all times because even at the, you know, when there's no one around, you're still looking to life or to the universe, whatever you want to call it, for guidance, you know? So you can never do anything alone. You need that, um, that truth within yourself to know, yeah, I, I'm able to be independent up until here. And then at this point, I'm going to need some help. Wales is a breath of fresh air, I think. I feel like it's, it's an underdog to many places in the world, actually. Um, I've been many places around the UK and trying to find that, um, that place where I feel connected spiritually and like I feel like it's got a, a, a sense of freedom a sense of peace. If Wales did go independent, what does it represent? It's not something that is on my mind every day. I don't know if it's something that everybody thinks about each day. I think once we get to a place where we can maybe dream a little bit more and build up Wales and add to it. As people, I feel like we've got a, a high vibe anyway in Wales. But I think if we knew how good Wales was and we knew how good the energy was, we would be striving for more. I'm from a, a creative hub, you know, I, that's all I know is, you know, music, dance, acting and, and stuff like that. You know, it's natural to us to be independent and dream and, and have that mindset. But outside of that, I don't know how other people think and are they, are they even afraid to take steps to be independent Freedom is so important, freedom of expression, freedom of creation, freedom of voice, freedom of opinion. I feel like that's where I get from, from Wales when I do think about it. That should be encouraged and that can only be encouraged through more exposure of maybe other people's culture within Wales and knowing that Wales doesn't have one face. What does Wales mean to me? I suppose the first thing that comes to mind is I feel like I chose Wales. I decided I was going to be here for the rest of my life and I made a conscious decision to choose a place and choose a country to live in. And I think there's something very profound when you choose. And I think I chose in not just a conscious way, but in a long-term way, I decided I'd live out my days here. And that feels like a very profound thing to choose to do. There is a hospitality. It's a different kind of hospitality to maybe the one I grew up with in the Middle East. But it's still an openness, a willingness, a kind of lack of pretentiousness, lack of trying to prove oneself or pull rank. Of course, that will exist amongst individuals and institutions. And maybe it comes from experiencing a colonial history. You know, your neighbor always being the bigger, the more powerful, and you're trying to catch up, you're trying to deal with the impacts of the way your neighbour treats you and has treated you historically. That figuring out 
that I think is happening in Wales, that trying to figure out identity, who are we, what does it mean to assert a sense of self. The idea of independence for me is about our independence of mind, independence of thought, our capacity to think in a way that isn't subject to just conforming, that isn't subject to doing and thinking in the same ways because everyone else is. Like, what does it mean to truly stand apart? What does it mean to truly hold your ground? What does it mean to maintain your principles or your vision or your beliefs when it's hard to do that? And I mean that in so many ways, interpersonally, politically, socially, culturally. To truly know who you are and what you are thinking is vital and not just in order to accept this is who I am, this is what I think, but to kind of question that within yourself. I think without that relationship of inquiry with ourselves, we can't really understand what is good in a wider context, what's healthy for a nation, what's healthy for a people, what's healthy for a culture, what's progressive, what's just, what's fair. What does it mean to create new futures if we cannot think through our own sense of independence of thought to imagine those futures, to go beyond what's just handed on a plate to us or what capitalism tells us we ought to be or aspire to. We need an independence of thought. We need a kind of spirit of imagination to think through different possibilities. Land in relation to an independent Wales makes me think of how we have used land and how that can change. Having access to ways of um, generating energy and generating our own sustainability in the world I think is really key when, when I think of land. How can the resource-based relationship to land play out in our world in a way that feels equitable, that doesn't continue to maintain those huge disparities. I also think the other piece about land is to do with our very direct relationship to it. And I think a future independent Wales needs to help us open our own relationship to the earth, to the soil, to the processes of re-wedding ourselves, to how land can be a deep source of our relationship to living in the way our ancestors would have had. And I think that is a sacred relationship. We have lost that through industrial processes. We've lost that through rampant consumerism. And Independent Wales for me is a place where we re-knit that relationship with understanding that we can only truly have a radical future if we mend that relationship to the earth.